Family Weather Center. This is your evening weather update. If you watched this last night, this morning, or midday with Kelly, you know that despite a lot of model inconsistency, we were kind of worried there may be some strong and severe thunderstorms developing across the area on the outflow from an earlier thunderstorm complex knocking down into Tennessee. That has been the case this afternoon, and as the original complex died, some really intense severe thunderstorms developed over portions of Giles, Lawrence, Wayne counties in Tennessee and dropped south through a large part of northwest Alabama. We've had hail up to the size of baseballs this afternoon in southern Tennessee. Up to golf ball size hail has been possible in northwest Alabama. We've had several reports of wind damage, power outages, and even a storm fatality confirmed earlier in Spring Hill, Tennessee. Storms over the next hour or so from the time I'm recording this will start to shift south of our viewing area and we will start to quiet down as we head into the evening, but more storms the next few days. Not quite sure they're gonna be quite as intense as today, but as always, we'll watch them. It's been a warm afternoon, but closer to I-65, we have had a little heat relief with some cloud cover this morning, and then the outflow moving in this afternoon, but still, we hit 101 in Lawrenceburg, 88, so not quite as warm as expected in Columbia. Hohenwald came in at 92. Uh, also Athens at 92, 91 in Decatur. You get back closer to the shoals of 95 in Florence this afternoon. Some areas in Northwest Alabama got as warm as 98, 99, 100 this afternoon. 94 in Russellville, 95 for high in Savannah, Tennessee. Even warmer as we head through tomorrow because we're not going to have as much of this influence from scattered showers and thunderstorms. Yes, a few will be possible, but they'll be much more isolated with the main focus off to our east this time. Dropping out of the 90s and 80s where we haven't seen rain, but rain cool areas are already down to the 70s. We'll make it down to the upper 60s and lower 70s around daybreak with partly cloudy to mostly clear skies. Going into our Friday morning, and then for Friday, we'll still, we still have this excessive heat warning in effect for all of the area for the likelihood of heat index values near or over 110. Afternoon highs in the lower 100s likely. Still in the upper 90s for daytime highs on Saturday, heat index values over 105. But as we move into the weekend and early next week, that ridge weakens, we start to get higher rain chances in here. That does mean the heat starts to back off, temperatures back to more tolerable levels by early next week back into the mid to upper 80s and heat index values under 100. So a few more storms possible Friday afternoon and evening. We'll watch those Saturday and this Saturday night, some more showers and thunderstorms possible. And it's gonna be the same thing with Sunday and into early next week as rain chances start to go up as we weaken that ridge and we get a frontal boundary stalling just north of the area. We're watching the tropics, but not a whole lot going on out here and no threats to the United States for at least the next seven days. Lower 100s likely for most of us for our Friday. Partly cloudy, mostly sunny with an isolated shower storm possible in the afternoon and evening. More of the same in Northwest Alabama. And keep in mind, these are not heat index values. These are daytime highs. Heat index values likely to be 110 to as high as 115 in spots as we go through the hottest part of tomorrow afternoon. And then the heat starts to back off barely into Saturday, but more so Sunday. Rain chances going up over the weekend and early next week as well. And then we're back into the mid to upper 80s for a large part of next week, which will definitely be welcome news after the hot weather we've had here so far this week. That's the your latest seven-day forecast. I'll be filling in for Ben Luna tomorrow morning with another update to your local weather.